tough conditions, but we have to play them. We know we need to still attack it, but we have to be smart, yeah? So that would be the little bit I want you to review back on as a team. Look at how we took control in those moments when it started getting a bit slippy, okay? Otherwise, awesome effort, great intent. <laughs> Good position, girls, there. Awesome. Roses on red! Red! Roses! Yeah, when I got that call from Mitch to come in for pre-season, it was um, unexpected because it was the Thursday before they started on, or we started on the Monday. So it was quite last minute, um, but it was, yeah, really surreal. I think I missed a call from him whilst I was on FaceTime to my grandparents. But yeah, we had a little chat and he said, there's an opportunity for you to come in and yeah, just kind of took it with both hands. After I got off the phone with Mitch, I texted my grandma to say, oh, that missed call was um, Mitch from England. He wants me to come into camp. And I think she replied like, that's amazing. I've just picked two and a half pounds of blackberries. So that was kind of the equivalent of how excited she was, which was quite funny. Um, but yeah, no, it was really cool. Yeah, I think my focus flipped after the first couple of weeks of pre to be like, okay, like there's a proper chance here for me to go. So when he told me, I still didn't quite believe it until the, the name on the selection came out. I was like, until I see my name on that sheet, I'm not going to believe it. And I'm like, didn't want to look up the weather in Vancouver in case I jinxed it. Didn't really want to tell anyone in case I jinxed it. Um, but yeah, it was when I saw it, I was just like taken aback and just thought, oh my God, it's happening. <laughs> Outside of rugby, I spend about three days a week working as a junior doctor in the NHS. Day to day, I'll just be on the wards, um, looking after lots of patients. Um, might be on call where I've got a few more to look after and kind of be there if there's an emergency. I think rugby and um, medicine actually do quite kind of go hand in hand. There's lots of traits that cross over. Um, I think we're quite determined people and I think you work in a team closely in hospital, which transfers nicely here. The communication skills transfer a lot. Um, and I think dealing with stressful situations, high pressured situations, you know, there'll be night shifts where someone's gone into cardiac arrest or been unresponsive and I've had to go there and be a part of the team there that helps um, kind of resolve that situation. Um, so actually, you know, I'm kind of used to dealing with the high pressure situations doesn't mean I don't find them really nerve-wracking but um, yeah I kind of get exposed to them a bit more often than I guess the average person. I think it's the message here um, that we're inspiring the next generation is an amazing message and something I really get behind because growing up I never had that Women's rugby just wasn't accessible, it wasn't on the television, so I didn't really grow up with a female role model in sport. So actually to be a part of that movement is really, really exciting and that message really coincides with what Bristol stand for. We want to inspire the community through rugby success and that really resonates here as well with the Red Roses. So yeah, that kind of really excites me that I you know, might inspire a young boy or girl, whoever it is, to pick up a rugby ball um, and they see us as that role model. I like a fast game, being able to take defenders on one-on-one -on -one and see what I can do and a lot of the time um, I did something positive. Um, so yeah, what, me in space and me on a one-on-one -on -one is what I enjoy doing. The back three have like helped me massively like and they're just super like lovely people on and off the pitch. Like, if I am um, ever lost in training or 
uh, unsure about a move or anything, they are like they're the first people to come up to me and tell me what's going on. Uh, coming into this game week, um, like Ellie dropped me a message and was just like, "Hey, like let's sit down and go over everything." And it's just been super welcoming, super lovely, and it's given me confidence to come into training this week and like attack it fully because I know exactly what I need to be doing. Um, and yeah, same with Jess, Abby, they've been like amazing and anything that I need an extra rep in, they're happy, they're like, yeah, go take it. Um, so yeah, they've all been super supportive. I knew I was coming out of WXV and that in itself was just a huge achievement for me. Like even traveling with the squad, coming out here, experiencing the, the environment that this is. And yeah, when he gave me the call, I literally put the phone down and screamed. I was like, oh my God, like I'm actually going to be starting in an England shirt. Like, it's crazy. But then I just think it just shows how much of my hard work has actually paid off. And I think I do get a bit of imposter syndrome sometimes. And I'm like, sit back and realize that like I, I deserve to be here and I've done seven weeks of hard work and I'm being rewarded. So yeah, I'm just super excited to go out there and do what, what I do best. Baby, go. Oh, yeah, ten pounds my school try. Ten pounds. Ten pounds we school try. Five pounds if I make a big hit. I will be very nervous personally. I'm sure I speak for everyone else as well. No, I'm I'm not I'm confident. Confident. Yeah, I'm confident. Yeah, I'm confident. Yeah, 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 I'm totally confident in you. The thing I bit that's going to get me is I think when they when you line up and they sing the national anthem and yes. you're there, yeah. I think that'll be a moment where actually yeah. we're not a very emotional family, but bizarrely we've been taken by a bit of emotion on this one. Yeah, it's kind of uh, it's it's caught us all. We're incredibly proud and we're going to be cheering, yeah. cheering a lot. She deserves it. I mean, she's worked hard her whole life. Yeah, like props to her. <laughs> Who's a better rugby player now, Max? Yeah. <laughs> I can't answer that one. I can't answer that. <laughs> nah, nah, she's done very well to what she's achieved and what she's about to achieve. And you know, it's only up from here, I say. So. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> nah, It'd be nice wait. to see Bowen's new kit as well. I haven't seen you in your Red Roses kit. So yeah, yeah no one has. No one has. Yeah. That. But it's interesting because Bowen's always been the third best rugby player, isn't it? Third? <laughs> <laughs> I think we might, we might need to reassess that now. Yeah. What was the ranking before this? Well, Max, then me. You? So Max was above yeah, well, you? You know where she gets it from, so... <laughs> clearly, clearly you've done something right there. So. <laughs> yeah, it's, been a, it's been a fun journey. I don't think we're finished yet. There's plenty well, more to come. Hope yeah, so. I hope so. I yeah. hope so. Yeah. It's going to be a fun day. Fun day. Yeah. What will be running through my head? I just think... I think it'll just be a mixture of nerves and excitement. Like, I really want to do it and I want to just, I want to do it now. I want to get out there and I want to put the shirt on and I want to run out on the pitch. Um, but then I think inevitably I'm going to be nervous. Um, just trying to switch those nerves to excitement. Um, and also just like enjoy the day um, and not get too worked up about the fact that I'm playing for England and just go out there, play my game of rugby um, with my parents, my brother and sister there in the crowd. Um, and just enjoy the day and play some good rugby. Yeah, I'm feeling a mixture of excitement and nerves towards my first cap. Um, I think the build-up is always the worst part because um, I think you get really anxious, you play things in your head, you wake up in the middle of the night and catastrophize things. <laughs> um, but everyone's been so supportive and put an arm around me. Um, and I think as soon as that whistle goes, I'll be absolutely fine and just enjoying myself. Um, and I had a message from my coach Dave at Bristol to say, just remember to smile at some point. So I'll have that in my head and try and smile at some point. <laughs>
for Ellie Kildun. She's got West Camemas where they're going is South. Ellie Kildun, little in and away, beats the fullback. Cover defence coming across. Ellie Kildun just about there, just about over, just about as brilliant as you can think. Little chip kick over the top. Here's a left counter. X Factor bouncing into the hands and the change of play. Counter stepping, weaving, scoring. That was a left counter. Need a few metres gained. Oh, now the ball's been spilled. Cold by Kelter, lost control of it. England pounce, England score. Willing to put herself about, isn't she? Phoebe Murray almost there again, Harrison. And now some space here for Matthews. Real danger coming. Alex Matthews holds it up and goes herself. Bodies in motion, here's Breach and Harrison combining again, lots of space here for Breach. West Kim Evans on the edge, getting around the outside, oh, what a fan, takes the outside, and on debut, Bo West Kim Evans gets a first test try. England's runners telling the next cab off, just holds on, they got there eventually. Try England. England looking to really counter here. Jess Breach exploding through the gap. Well, we were waiting for her to find some space here. Could never keep Jess Breach out of the score. Try scoring action. Look how quick it is. L numbers wide for England. Tried to squeeze it out. Oh, it's brilliant from Vivas to kill Dunn in the corner. I think we were probably more nervous than Phoebe was, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, I like my heart is coming down below 150 at some point soon. <laughs> yeah, it'd be great. Really nervous. Yeah, nervous, yeah. but, you know, pretty confident she was going to do the business. And it was a good game, wasn't it? Played well. Yeah. Yeah. You, you know, we've had a lot of dodgy hot chocolates from uh, burger bars, just chasing her around the country, getting her a game, and it's been worth it, you know. Yeah, yeah really cool. <laughs> 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 I actually quite miss the car journey sometimes we used to do to trainings, we always used to have musicals on, we'd sing, we on the way to Bristol and back, with like loads of musicals, so I kind of miss that still, all the washing, don't mind it all, it's all, yeah. I think words don't really describe how proud we are, Phoebe, really. Yeah, you know, exactly. I tell all my friends about you, I literally don't shut up about you, because <laughs> you are pretty cool. Yeah, and, um, yeah. yeah, it's pretty cool to see you finally get, get here. There's always when, not if. Onwards and upwards. Yeah. Yeah. You can't have too many caps, right? You, have, you, have, you haven't messed up the first cap, so you, you must be. You can't have too many caps. No. Yeah. Hi, Westcom Evans. I think you showed out here today what you're capable of, and it was awesome to see. You've been doing that for the for a couple of years, but I think last season you really broke through. I don't know whether it was listening to Nathan shout at you, or you just actually really found your straps. You worked so hard. I've seen you in the gym. You looked a ton more than any of us. Super hard working, super diligent. Really, really proud of you coming out here, showing what you're all about. So, Bo West Americans, uh, Red Rose 264.